workplace culture is the heart and soul of an organization. It's a unique blend of values, beliefs, behaviors, and attitudes that define who we are and how we work. Imagine a workplace where employees are truly invested in the company, where there's a sense of belonging and where everyone is working towards a common goal. This is what a positive workplace culture can achieve. A negative workplace culture, on the other hand, can have serious detrimental effects on both employees and the organization as a whole. Walmart, one of the world's largest retailers, knows the importance of workplace culture all too well. Founded in 1962, Walmart has come a long way and today has over 11,000 stores in 27 countries. Despite its size and global reach, the company has remained true to its roots and is committed to creating a positive workplace culture, or at least that's what they say. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the Walmart's workplace culture from a critical standpoint to hopefully learn a thing or two about how this retail giant decides to treat its employees. Walmart's story began in 1962, when visionary founder Sam Walton opened the doors of his first retail store in Rogers, Arkansas. Sam's mission was simple, yet bold to provide customers with high-quality products at unbeatable prices. From those humble beginnings, Walmart has grown into a retail giant. The company's focus on customer satisfaction and affordability has redefined the way retailers do business and has forced competitors to up their game. Today, Walmart continues to be a trailblazer in the retail industry, setting the standard for customer service and low prices. Walmart claims to have a positive workplace culture that prioritizes its employees, promoting diversity and inclusion, professional development and work-life balance. To achieve this, it says it provides its employees with opportunities for training and career advancement, and encourages them to take an active role in their own development whether it's through internal training programs or tuition reimbursement. However, a different narrative has emerged. Allegations of poor working conditions, low pay, and limited advancement opportunities among Walmart employees paint a contrasting picture to the company's self-proclaimed employee-centered philosophy. Walmart's business model relies on low prices, which the company achieves by keeping its labor costs as low as possible. This often leads to pressure on employees to work for low wages and in subpar working conditions, which I would bet are the main reasons these protests took place. Walmart states that it values diversity and inclusion by saying it recognizes the importance of having a workforce that represents the diversity of its customers and communities. However, there have been claims of discrimination and a lack of diversity in leadership positions within the company which gave Walmart a totally different image in front of the world's eyes. Some women employees and activists have reported experiencing gender discrimination, including unequal pay and unequal treatment in the workplace. Additionally, there have been claims of a lack of diversity in leadership positions within the company, with many senior positions being held by men. Finally, Walmart claims to support work-life balance through policies and benefits. The company says it provides its employees with flexible scheduling options, paid time off, and other benefits to help them achieve a healthy balance between their work and personal lives. But, there have been complaints of mandatory overtime and a lack of work-life balance among employees which have led to serious protests across the country over the years. In fact, some employees have reported feeling overworked and exhausted, with many working multiple jobs just to make ends meet. Walmart's workplace culture is a topic of much debate. On one hand, the company boasts a philosophy that prioritizes employees, values diversity and inclusion, and supports professional growth and work-life balance. On the other hand, there have been countless reports and allegations of poor working conditions, low pay, discrimination, and limited advancement opportunities that paint a vastly different picture of the company's culture. So, is Walmart's workplace culture truly committed to its employees, or do the protests paint a different picture? We want to hear your thoughts. If you found this article informative and thought-provoking, give us a like and share your thoughts in the comments as it will really help us in the future. Thanks!